meditating with a nice voice in your head. Yes. Um, how would you like to progress? Um. Hmm. So. All right, next person. What? I'm just fucking with you. Oh, that's fair. Um, I will exit the room. Okay. And it calls back to you. It wishes for you to stay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, and I will go try to find Gacy. Gacy, you're presumably upstairs doing what you were doing last time. Fuck. Fuck. Man, I was hoping it wasn't going to be call yet. Um... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> if you'd like, I can go to somebody else what they're doing. Please. <laughs> That's we'll, fair. Get, we'll get back to y'all in a second. Uh, Leo, mm -hmm. just, in, just in case, I have repurposed a chat room for you in case you want to say what you're doing. Uh, huh? In the server, look at the chats. You can just throw it in there if you want to. All I see are general art and music and little v logs that I've had. Yes, I just changed little v, a lot of v chat to oh, little v logs. Okay. You can put anything you want to do in there and I'll see it. I, in case I you just want to continue, I we can just say it. I can just, I can wait. Yeah. But, um, basically, what are you fucking two assholes doing? Zedria and Dave. Y'all um, kiss, up kissing on the roof? Y'all eating, you know, Slurpees? What happened? We're fucking making out outside of Casey's <laughs> house. Um, but the mask stays on. Um, <laughs> tired of y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna hit a button. Magic button. Okay. Blup. What's your target? Uh, Dave. Dave. Um, possibly, actually. Um, uh, do, are you? Do you need Dave's help? Are you using Dave's help currently? Yeah. Uh, yes, actually. Oh. Okay, Dave. Roll me one d ten plus two, and see if you get obscenely lucky. If you get at least a ten. You said one d ten plus two. One d ten plus two. If you get at least a ten, you can actually get it. Why are these fucking fucked. tapers that's uh. on the floor? Uh, so unless y'all want to burn some uh, luck points or rerolls or whatever the fuck y'all got, get fucked. Huzzah, oh, I, have I, have, I have two. Hey! Are you going to just keep rerolling and see if Dave gets it? Um. Yeah, roll 182. <laughs> yes. I do what it. the f- what? Oh my god! <laughs> 182. <laughs> Thank you, Jims. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here's my next one. Can I add a plus two to that? Hello? Probably doing something. Secret chats. Uh, no. Um, oh, my plus two is already added. Your plus two is already calculated in there. You okay. also did, You also would not get it from that. And last one. Or did you want me to use your last luck point? <laughs> That's fine. Use the last. Okay. Well, it, it doesn't get it. It was a seven. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, you do manage to get something nice, though. Grah! Uh, you get something called the die cast. It is a very, very large device that looks like it could be used inside of a large heated forge with powerful materials to cast new dice. Man. It's a massive forge no idea. Uh, when I say massive forge, I don't mean like the one you saw in town. That was just a workshop forge. So it's a die cast that what? Uh, it's a die cast. It's if you use powerful materials and obviously grist and whatever, and you use the die cast to produce dice, you can produce them at a very, very hot, very large forge. Like the one on your planet. Oh, okay. Hmm. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, you've I... you've successfully yoinked an item. It does not appear to be what you wanted, but it is something similar. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm surprised. <laughs> I got close. Think. Yes. Damn so it! Close. Why mine? What do you mean, why yours? Why? <sighs> Oh, your why your planet? Because that's where the forge is. That's the only one y'all know of. It's not the Alchemiter. No. Oh man. Oh, we gotta make some decisions. There's we made so many decisions. <laughs> All right. So you know where the at? You know where the universe? I don't know, man. Everybody just wants to go to your planet. Oh, Jim is a little fucked up right now. Oh, do we? Your mic was fucked up. Mm. No. 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 Hello. Yes. Hello. They're, they're just fucking thinking of what they're gonna do. Yeah. No, I asked Give a girl me. some time. <laughs> Give me just a second. Four minutes past. Girl math. Hey. <laughs> Putting up my makeup right now. Uh, oh my god. I'm doing my nails right now. <laughs> uh all right. We we wanna go to Dave's planet. But instead of just fucking off, we uh, should talk to the others to see what they're going to be doing. Yeah. All right. Well, when y'all progress in, Lasley and Lasley, you do find Gacy. He's likely upstairs crying or something. Oh, not, <laughs> not crying, just looking down, just not feeling a little. Oh, yeah. This is right after you poured the fucking blood out for your brother, isn't it? Yeah. yeah this is right after a lot of things. I think that... <laughs> Yeah, I meant so to I'm tell you this, but uh, right. I meant to tell you this. Things. You felt you felt like you were going to get a luck point, and then you didn't. I well, that's funny because you gave me one anyway. Yes. So do I undo the? No, you got the one I gave you. You didn't get the other one. Okay. You got one for doing some dumb outside of the box shit. Thumbs up. You're a warrior. But yeah, Lasley. You walk up behind this being. Um, remember your funny eye? Yeah. <laughs> when you look at your friend Gacy, uh, you see him being killed in several different ways. You see one where basically he is grabbed, like his whole torso is grabbed in one hand, he is crushed. You see another one where he is gored on spiraled horns. You see another one where he is shot full of nails. You see, you see many deaths for him. Uh, but the saddest one is you see knife wounds in his back and he just falls over dead. Oh. But you hear I your get voice. to see... That's unfortunate. Do I get to see how, like, an amount of time that these things could possibly happen or just, like, what could happen? No. Basically, back to back to back, what you see with one eye is normal shit. What you see with the other eye is, like, phantoms of him dying. You ever play oh, okay. Dark Souls? No. It's basically, it's basically like imagine like a ghosty version of him, like a hologram, getting killed in those different ways, and then just oh. reverting back to where he is right now. You're seeing multiple ways he could likely die. All right, they've never played Dark Souls. Somebody get the Melden Ring. Nice. Mm. Yeah, you see your homie dying, and he's just sitting there, kind of uh, forlorn. Um, I'll I'll tap his back. I turn. Hey, <laughs> what, what you doing in here? I am lamenting, but I just needed some time to think. Oh, well, <laughs> I won't bother you very long then. I was just wondering if you happen to know where a motherfucker went, because, uh, Little V is gone, and I saw you walk in next to him. Did you, did you did he say anything to you? He left his iPad too. <laughs> you try to remember what happened. 
I, I have like the cliff notes in my head. The problem is that the, the gears are turning, but there there's nobody there to turn the gears. Uh yeah, Jibs is rats in a setter on break. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, poor Jibs. Uh, okay. I don't know what to say. A disagreement was made, and he does not trust me. And he left. Oh. I hope he So it's your fault. Probably. Oh. I'm just like gritting my teeth. <laughs> okay. It's your um, fault my only friend left. <laughs> that's so interesting and <laughs> cool and crazy and stuff. Um but he didn't say where he was going or if he needed help or what what he wanted us to do? No. And can what Dave did... and Zedri hear this conversation? You're not here yet. Y'all, y'all oh, were okay. having your conversation out front. Yeah. We're and you're gonna walk. You're gonna walk okay. in. You're gonna walk in toward the end of their conversation, not at the end. Yeah. Of toward yeah. It. yeah. What did you argue about? Or have a disagreement about? For fuck's sake! <laughs> what did you <laughs> argue about? <laughs> Fucking flashbacks. <laughs> Uh, Lazily, you hear in your you Lazily, you hear in your head. Sorry, dear. It appears that he can't tell you much. Thank you, DM. <laughs> mm, fuck. All right. I I should say this. The boy is bound by a similar contract to yours and mine. He cannot tell you. It is not that he is unwilling. Oh. Hmm. That's a little I, weird. The boy is not malicious. He is simply easily fooled. Oh. Uh, that's okay. I am too, I guess. I'm oh. talking too. Well, I guess whenever you're done with your alone time, we'll be out here waiting for you. I'll, I'll head, to, head out of his room. Okay. See you soon, then. Adios. <laughs> All right, I'll step out into the hallway. Literally, you you see fucking Zedri and Dave just walking toward you. Oh, what's up, guys? I was going to check in to see what the plan was. Why is everybody assaulting my room? What is this? <laughs> uh, Lazily, I can tell you what you see from them. Okay. Uh, on Dave, uh, you do not see anything of him dying except for dying of old age. Oh, that was on, on Zedria, you see more versions of death than anything. Uh, uh, you see her dying to arrows. You see her dying to nails. You see her dying to bite marks. You see her dying to exploding. You see her dying to getting big and then heart attack. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You see, <laughs> yeah, you see her dying to many, many different things. She has the most deaths you've seen. I, I'm gonna like, oh my god, looking at you hurts a motherfucker. I'm gonna shake my head. Damn. I didn't know my face was so offensive. It's You're not right? that. It's uh yeah, I um <clears throat> just I'm getting some some headaches and stuff. Probably just exhausted from this game. So I just kinda wanna get it over with. What have you, you slept been at up all? To? Yeah, a little bit. I'm... The fuck is asleep? <laughs> yeah, quote Lasley, the one that has actually rested the most. <laughs> like the eepiest, God's eepiest soldier. Are you I just... able to see their face? Lasley? Yes. I just have makeup on. Or were you talking about the fucking phantoms that were dying? No, I was talking about, like, can I see Leslie's face? Like, can we see that they have gained their eye back? Oh, yeah. If, if you look at their eye, you see inside the black, uh, every now and then, you see, like, a weird green iris floating, and sometimes it stares at you. It just looks away. Okay. Look at Dave. It's, 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 it's rolling around in their head. <laughs> I look at Zedri, and I'm just like, oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. So... <laughs> What we've been doing. 
we are trying to come up with some sort of plan on how to progress forward and we i suppose where are the other two first of all uh well gacy is uh having sad boy hours in his room right now even more so uh, yeah he i just wanted to talk to him to try to get some information on where little v went and he's uh He's really going through it. I don't think he's going to be super uh, keen to do much right now. Oh, he's but, just gone. Yeah, I I went down to look for him, and he left his iPad on the counter, and he's just gone. And I guess uh, Gacy and him had a disagreement, which I, he won't tell me, or I should say can't tell me what it was about. So I I don't know, but he's gone. Um, did don't you check what's in his iPad? Did. It's locked. Give it to me. <laughs> you don't have it. The I remember AZ took the iPad. Or sorry, yeah. Gizzy took the iPad. Uh, oh. oh God. Yeah, guy showed up and fucking took it. And it's gone. You got your fly jays. <laughs> yeah. No, not you. <laughs> oh. Wait, me? Yeah, DZ came to deliver your shit. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's when he went down to get the iPad and just left. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so we have really no idea timing. where he's going, and he left without us. I mean... Yep. I am Fuck. going to message AZ. And ask him if he has the iPad. Hi, what, what, what? Do you have Little V's iPad? I didn't fucking get it yet. Hold on. Yet? <laughs> I'll check the inventory. Deezy's got it on delivery. Why? Uh, what is it? Little man's fucking left. And I am making a wild guess that maybe he has something on that iPad that will tell us like where the fuck he went off to. Ah, uh, you know, patient, doctor, confidentiality or something. You're not a doctor. He's not a don't, patient. Don't y'all have the fucking compass? Yeah, but it's pointed to yeah. other shit. It's not the same for everybody. So none of it's pointing anywhere new? Uh, I mean, I wasn't looking at what the compass was <laughs> doing for everybody. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and then he just says, wow, none of y'all gave a shit then. Move on. <laughs> If any of y'all actually gave a shit about the dude, the compass would tell you where he went. Um, well, little I cared head. about him. Yes! I was right! Lazuli, did you not see where he went off to? No. Like, did you not see him go out the door, or... Mm-mm. Gacy was the only one that did, and he can't say anything. Alright, so my next idea is to... Um, get in contact with the Gacy's army. They must have seen something. They were outside. They... Okay, sure. Uh, can we go door to door? That There's might... not door to have, door. Have you seen this boy? <laughs> <laughs> like a milk carton? Please. Uh, you could definitely ask the guards. They would have seen him leave. Gonna go ask the guard. Uh, oh, when you go on. ask the guard, Blood Knight is sitting there is like, Ah, yes, young lords and young ladies. How may I help you? Uh, Little V fucked off. We were wondering where he left. Ah! Uh, all him and the other knights start glowing for a second. Then he goes, Oh yeah, he went that way. He wasn't going in a clear direction, though. Did Seems he say like anything? He just... No, he just... He didn't even wave at us. He kept orders circling left and right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I you was bee hopping. <laughs> Literally, he was. You guys ever played Gary's? <laughs> you, know people, you know how people bee hop to keep he momentum? Was prop surfing. <laughs> All I heard was clang, 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 and he's just going up in the air on a barrel. <sighs> but no, uh, he just traveled this way. But, just uh, fucking honestly, Dave, he's... my technique. <laughs> yeah. I can go uh, downstairs. He can go up. <laughs> uh, here's the issue. Um, where he went, there's nothing there. 
literally, there's not even the script yet for this place. There's <laughs> nothing out there. Um, like why did he go? No clue. He's your friend. Why are you asking me? Mm, he didn't tell me. Oh, well, my bad. I made a mis misjudgment. Maybe you weren't friends. Hey, Lazuli. I'm going to just throw up. I'm literally just going to throw up all over the ground when he says <laughs> that to me. Oh, no. Don't say that. <laughs> um, who has the compass right now? Uh, I think. The, own the owner of the compass. Yeah, Dave. Because uh, he's the one who brought it back in. Correct. Pro probably. Well, we okay. could check and see if it's any different now. Probably not. I mean, it all um, pertains to what we want. You are his friend. It'll probably work for you if you were to think about him really hard. It Let's give it a shot. Way. No. Yeah. It, it will only point toward the thing you want the most. It doesn't oh, care about anything else. He, only the thing you need. He's what I want the most right now. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Well, good news. As the compass starts spinning, a ship lands. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck. Uh, the compass does start spinning. It does spin in a direction, but the ship lands in front of you. Is that the guy that he called? It is the guy that he called. Hey, you still got Mama Pond's number? Yeah, I do. Do the thing. Julie, do the thing. Yes, ma'am. And he salutes. <laughs> Let's see. At this point, he's already got a head start. Uh, Lasley, it points down. Down. It points down. Mm. Well, it's definitely changed. Now it's pointing down. Last time it pointed to Zedria and then my planet. Pointed to me? Mm hmm. But this time, all it did was go straight down. Does that mean he's in the ground? <laughs> he's dead? <Yeah>. No! <laughs> he's dead! <laughs> Now, Leo, as this is happening, uh -huh. uh, at this point, you have walked off a significant margin. You have been walking for a while. Good things have, hap things have happened. You're in the middle of the fucking desert, basically, following the direction uh, and trying to find, basically, an entrance down where you were trying to go. Yeah. It does not take you long, considering your mind check, but because you wandered off into the fucking desert, uh, there's a lot of caves. But you can very easily find your way down them. And uh, you notice something as you start entering the first two caves. He's going to come across the Arabian newts. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> the Arabian, Arabian newts. Oh, uh, you, you, find... <laughs> <laughs> you find... You find two cave entrences. Computer, <laughs> that's, deactivate that's... iguana. Uh, the, both, <laughs> both the cave entrances have blood leading into them, and they both have a message scrawled in blood above them. Each of them is a different message. I read them. And thus this day I was betrayed, my heart was broken, I am dismayed. And then the other one Dang. says, And on this day my foe was slain, and on this day I shall remain. I smack my lips. What color is the blood? Uh, both of them are red. Like bright, viscous, probably sparkly red. I'm gonna make a mind check to see if this is something... This feels oddly specific. I want to know, does that... Can I suss anything out from that? What are you? What in particular are you attempting to? Is suss? this directed at me? Is this in particular directed at you? No. Okay. You can tell that you can tell that whatever this is, this is directed at the like planet player. Okay. Well, if the thing about him uh, being alive is the cave on the right, then I'm gonna go in the cave on the left because if he survived it, then fuck it. Very good. Evidently, isn't the thing I'm looking for. <laughs> Very good. Uh, well, as you progress down the cave, you see a lot of wonderful things. Uh, a whole lot of skeletons of different creatures that are all vying for the end of the cave. They all appear to be searching for something, but all of them ended up contributing to the bloodstains on the floor and the wall, because each and every one of them appears to have been either backstabbed, shot in the side of the head, or something else. They were all killed from likely unsuspecting places. Well, remember, but... I'm keeping my reaction up. Correct. But I will go ahead and say, the cave is empty. There's nothing here. There are no traps. It does not trigger. Nothing occurs. You simply go lower and lower, and you see bigger and scarier looking bodies that were all similarly killed. All right. 
I, with a cautious heading, continue down. Very good. Oh, God. And uh, then I realize what I am. I stop being cautious, and I stride confidently. As you stride confidently, uh, you come across a very, very large wall. It appears to you that both caves led to the same place. You're not sure why two separate caves would lead to the same place or why they said different things. But they both lead to a stone wall with two pedestals. Look at the pedestals. Uh, the pedestals look like they could hold some kind of liquid. And uh, the stone wall has a very, very large like typeface, house symbols. And um, very by the way, you've been traveling for a while. You're just drastically faster than everybody else. I know. That's the, uh, that's the main reason you're able to get here. Pretty quick, two scenes. Because uh, this will be your first getting your first scene in this one getting here. Yeah. Uh, but let's, my dear dear friend, on the wall, it tells you this. And from your friend may his blood be taken and offered to uh, the glories forsaken. And then I look at the other one. Uh, no, they both the the door just says the same thing. It's two pedestals. Both appear to be pedestals for blood. They want blood. From you and a friend. I reach you have my... to betray your friend and take their blood. I reach in my inventory and pull out the file of magic blood. Yep. And I pour it in one pedestal and put my blood in the other. The door unlocks. Quote me in my head. I'm the betrayed one in this scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I enter. Very good. Uh, well, when you enter the main room, that is where your first scene will end, but your second scene will pick up. The door slams behind you, the lights flicker on, and you realize you're in a very, very large square, or a rectangular courtroom with a circular middle section, and there is a very, very large figure sitting at the end of the room. Ah! Uh, <laughs> um, he turns toward you, and you notice something interesting. Yeah. Uh, he has very, very large horns that cover his eyes. His horns are so large and so fish-hooked that he sets his arms on them as like a post. You cut out. And then, oh, sorry. His horns are so large that he basically uses them as a armrest. And at the end of each of his gigantic like fish-hook horns, you see the t uh, first part of a scale. Like, you know, the plate of a scale? Yeah. So each one of his two horns that are going left and right both form a scale. I will show you him. Give me a moment. Look in character art. And I will do be you, glad to give you what you see. Do you think because his horns are so big that he can do the sonic dash? You'll see in just a moment. Uh, welcome to your... <laughs> welcome to your first foe. Uh, do you want the PNG or the one with his uh, blood colors, the background? I'll take both. Cool. You're the first one to actually run into yours. Arabian Nights. <laughs> oh, stuck in your head. Is the first one. <laughs> Yo. Ah. <laughs> He's Jay chillin'. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's not what I... Oh man, he can't do the Sonic Dash. That's not what you thought it was? He is basically a big scale, is the thing. He looks uh, like he's his uh, that his horns are his eyes. Are his eyes <laughs> aggressively <laughs> sobbing? That's basically yeah. Go Arabian day. Yeah, uh, I will go ahead and tell you, Little V. When you sit in that room, not only is the uh, s s height difference between you and where he's sitting different, uh, this dude is unreasonably tall. That's he's a, not that's wide. A, that's he's an alive troll who is very long. Yes. Like, high bloods aren't usually this big. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and the the last thing you hear is, the, the trial has begun. And then you hear thunk, and then just gavels across the room, all slamming. Nobody's holding them. I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, we'll begin scene two in a minute. <laughs> Smiles. Oh. More often than not, oh, no, more harder than hot. In a good lot of ways. I will. I will go ahead and show you this just for the. Oh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs>
But what were you going to show us? Uh, let me go ahead and pull this. Let's see how wide I can make it without him looking stupid. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> what fucking map were you last on? There it is. Found you. Little buddy. You get to compare your sizes. Sure. Oh, oh, my man is big. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so to the Gilded Court, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. That's such a good mm. map, too, though. Kangaroo <laughs> Court, be like. Yeah. Uh, but basically, you're just ch Jay chilling, locked in, and he just says, oh, and the courts will find you um, penisless. <laughs> Uh, and now we snap back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oh, there's a ship landing, and there's a bunch of drones coming out of it. I don't mean you... flying drones. I mean troll imperial drones. You were so close. You were so close okay. to greatness, and then you fucked the rhyme up at the very end. Yes, suck me. Uh, the drones exit <laughs> the ship, and they basically surround the house. The knights are like, huh? And then uh, it, it, the royal fucking imperial knights all show up, and uh, not the knights, the drones, the big imperial drones, the royal guards, they all walk out. You see several of them have gems in them with blood just powering their asses. And uh, then red carpet rolls out, and fanfare goes, and then nobody comes out. So they were, it, it's safe to assume that somebody was supposed to come in at that moment, but nobody did. So what do y'all do? Y'all board the ship or wait? <laughs> I'm going to poke my head in the ship. It is not that small of a ship. When I say oh. an imperial ship, I mean gigantic mile long. You poking your but head in I can't, in a, I can't even see, door, like, what's in, like, yeah. Is anybody no. other than drones in there? Just drones. No, it is just drones, and it is armies of them. Oh, shit. This, this thing does not have, it is likely that you, you don't, you won't see any blood. You won't see any other trolls. You just see a bunch of drones. And then the red carpet. And they're all just looking at you. They don't stop you. They don't ask you anything. They're just looking. It's literally like one of these. Big. Yep. And then the worst part is, uh, yeah. It's just that. Yeah, it's just waiting. They're all just kind of staring at you like, Huh. What you gonna do? Was there something that was supposed to happen? She says aloud. Uh, one of the empty Royal Guard drones leans down, looks at you, scans you, and then it stands up. And then another one with jade lines all through it leans down, scans you, tilts its head like, huh? And then goes, greetings. We <laughs> await the guest. Which guest? <laughs> another Us? one fucking sits down. The one with indigo blood, it says, the Royal... <laughs> what was it? The Royal Flexicutioner, Little V. Oh, he's not mm. here. <laughs> they Hi. tilt. They tilt their head. They look to each other. They're silent for a second. Just look to you. That's it. They're just looking at you now. Okay. What do you need well, him for? Well, he was the one that called them here to give us a ride. Should we go? Not unless you want to go look for Little V. Hmm. It's but... hard enough to leave without him. Oh, that's fair. They're probably expecting him and not, you know. Some randoms? Yeah, yeah. some randoms. So, what do you want to do, Azuli? Hmm. Well,. If I know Little V, wherever he is, I'm sure he's fine on his own and probably doesn't even want us to come looking for him because he's always cranky. But, I don't know, I guess the best thing for us to do is just keep carrying on. I'm sure he'll meet up with us later. Uh, as long as you have his contact information, I suppose, yes, we can reconvene. If he brought anything with him, he left his iPad. Uh, that's true. Well, 
sounds like he really does not want to get found. No. In that case, especially if he didn't tell you uh, where he was heading. Mm-mm. All right. Then... Can we ask the drones before they go if they can leave without him, or...? Yeah. Why not just have the drones look for him? Well, you can ask. You're all all just... If you want to know where he is, and these machines can do it, and can do it faster than... What kind of drones are they? They're just flying drones or whatever? I already told you, they're not flying drones. Listen, they're gigantic, (laughs) like, imagine mechs. They're gigantic humanoid robots. Okay. And then there's and then there's eleven of them, sorry, twelve that are even bigger than that. And they're like gilded and shit. <laughs> yeah, they can just they can just look for him. Like they're I, huge as shit. Yes, they don't they don't need training. They don't need to eat, sleep, breathe. They can just Oh my fall. god. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> what did y'all do? Look at character. <laughs> It really does look like that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you no, know, I had when, to do it to them. When, <laughs> when Syl was, uh, not Syl, when Sooty was drawing that, my immediate response was, you know I had to do it to him. But I just didn't say it out loud because I was like, continue. <laughs> He's got the big robe too, the big judge robe, so you can't see his uh... flag <laughs> <laughs> you need. I might set that as his icon. Hold on. Yes. How do I calculate a phase two for him? <laughs> Rips off the rope. He says, "We're both guilty, bitch. <laughs> guilty of sweating, <laughs> bitch. Come on and slam into the jam. Come oh, on and slam. If you want a jam." <laughs> He looks, he, looks, he looks at you. Ah, yes, finally you are here and we can test this. Come on, slam, brother! <laughs> and he just fucking <laughs> annihilates you. That'd be oh, awful. It's good. But, uh, yeah, that's what the drones look like. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, big. Because, because, yes. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> They've come to collect. Fuck. <laughs> Um, also, hi, Gacy. (laughs) You doing all right, bud? I am the CEO of sex. (laughs) I I look at you as you're about to say that. Or I look at you as you say that. I'm about to go heal myself to sacrifice more blood to make more knights. So, okay. (laughs) And Uh, then I'm going to lay down. And depending on what, and depending on if we're staying or if we're going, I will decide after I lay down. uh, Okay, bud. So, I have an idea. (laughs) What's what's your idea? What's your idea? The to Gacy. Once you finish doing the the thing, your dear old thing, the crafting thing, and you've I, gotten your rest. The, cr- the crafting thing, sure. Uh, as, yeah. as I'm, <laughs> once you finish bloodletting to make more children, and after you yeah. have gotten your rest, I would recommend for you and Lazuli go to his world to see about those crypts. World, Lazuli's my world because I think that was the original plan. Yeah, we were gonna head to my world next. Um, because yep. I I think they are living in the crypts in my world. What are you guys gonna do? So we need to make a pit stop to Dave's yeah. world, well, and then Justin once... needed some help with some stuff. The compass, point, the compass pointed to. Oh my god, Brain, what the fuck is your name? Zedria. It's a compass pointed to Zedria's world. Yours also pointed to me? I give you I give a nod. But also the planet that belonged to my brother lit up. I don't I'm know what's there. Feeling important. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I kinda feel nice. Z- right Gacy, now. remember, yours pointed at Zedria, not her planet. Yeah, not her planet. Yours pointed at, yours pointed at Zedria and then uh 
Lazuli's world. Uh, then no, never mind. mind. Ignore, ignore that. I'm, okay. I'm not here. Uh, okay. then continue this <laughs> statement, but I, I just so Zedra feels important. I'll say it. Point of the Zedra, then Lazuli's planet. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Damn important. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm important. I'm feeling important. It feels nice to be recognized and seen. <laughs> Aaliyah, do me Moves a favor. Moves hair do it. behind her ear. Anyway. You, you get to go ahead and set up your fucking boss music, so get 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 a couple songs ready for that playlist. You got Ooh. it. Oh, it's uh, Leo, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I, so, is there anything else that is required of me? Um, right. After you do what you need to do, I would recommend for you and Lazuzi. Lazuzi. <laughs> the Lazuzi. No! Please. Lazuzi. Go to his planet and investigate the crypts because apparently I am going to make a big assumption. Not the in the crypts. No, we're going to New York. <laughs> I'm going to make the assumption that over there That's is gonna pretty be important. The fucking thing that happens. It's going to be the bloods in the crypts. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Why have you done this? To me? <laughs> and I then I'm some fucking I'll be honest with you. Gang shit. Not a fucking thing that's happened to y'all has been my doing so far. <laughs> you, know, you know what? You know the only thing I did to y'all. I brought some of y'all to Durs or Prospect. That's the only thing I've done to any of y'all. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking scream. I gave y'all a tour. <laughs> uh, hey, at least if you have to go on the ship, to... you get a nap. Yeah, for the people that are next to me, uh, I'm just gonna list the cost in the fucking chat because I've had this on the back burner all week. Can anybody meet these cost requirements? I can, friend. <laughs> For another yeah. bed? No, to fuse the beds. Oh. The, si oh, yeah. the six bed and the double rester bed. I got you. The six super surge. You got it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, DM, you, you know the six surgery beds and the, the super double arrestor bed? Yeah, they're mixed together. What the fuck does it make? Ooh, it makes the super the super super sleeper six hundred. Okay. Six six beds, each of them heal you for one hundred. For each person you are that is also resting. So if you have if if you have one person that is also resting with you, you each heal for 120. If you have three people resting, Wait. each of you heal for 140. That is a lot less than what it healed last time. No, your your original bed healed for 180. You think combining it with something that splits it six ways is going to go up? Yes. Because the no. other one was supposed to be better. God damn it. Okay, it, is, so... it is better. You didn't listen. All right. For go. each, the base is 100 HP per rest. For each other person you have resting with you, and I mean person, not thing, you each get an additional 20. So if you have all six people resting, each of you get 200 HP back. And does this take my bed? No, it took it his took double mine. bed. Okay, because I, I also he, had my bed. I'm pretty sure he took yours and combined it with his, didn't he? No, he crafted uh, one. Yes. I'm the one who originally made it, and I handed it to them to fucking... Yeah, yeah and I still yes, have that original one. So instead of a bed that heals for 160, you have a bed that can heal people for up to 200. You getting an extra, maybe what? Fucking a thousand HP per? Like, per rest? Cool, you. That's not an upgrade. Suck my dick. Yeah, it's not an upgrade. I want more, Chimney. No. <laughs> you get this, and you're lucky I didn't double the cost. Oh, what was I going to say? Yeah. Uh, you guys have been basically been wasting a lot of time just standing out in front of a ship. Uh, I'm just trying you... to fucking make the plan. Keep getting interrupted, otherwise it'd be fucking short. Yes, you keep getting interrupted, and it keeps. You're basically wasting a lot of time in front of a ship, just talking. Motherfuckers. He's walking out. 
<laughs> you you hear you hear click 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 of the loafers as he's just walking out like what happened? I'm going to bow Fucking the fuck is your name again? What is your title? Inquisitor? You're not Inquisitor. Inquisitor? It's just the same shit. Dave's just kind of like shielding her because he's like, this is this is somebody important. Uh, I don't think he'll want to see this. I, I, I'm, I'm here to inquisit. What the <laughs> hell you're doing in them dreads? Those are god awful. Uh, he, is, he walks out in what are essentially shower shower loafers, uh, a big like fuchsia and gold robe. It looks like he just got out of a shower, and he walks outside. He goes, "What happened? What's going? Don't fucking stand up." Where it where where where's little V? She stands up and she's going to tell him um little V decided that he wanted to have some alone time and fucked off. Without telling anybody. And didn't tell me either after he called me. Interesting. Who the fuck are you? Z he points to the rest of you. Rude. <laughs> uh, 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 uh Lazuli. No, no, Lazuli, the moment you say that, uh, you want to see a magic trick? Yeah. Make a mind save. <laughs> okay. Lazuli. <laughs> cool, cool, cool fucking Stevie. Ha ha, let's go. Wait, I already forgot how to... Slash R, R slash. Slash, slash R, slash. space, 3d6 <laughs> plus whatever your mind is. 3d6 plus whatever your so long. Yeah, mind. Okay, okay. My fucking head. I gotta go sit down so I can fucking see what you rolled. 105. Ah. Uh, oh Lasley. my. Lasley, he raises uh. his fucking hand. Uh, you remember those voices in your head? Yeah. They feel like they're about to crack out of your skull as you're afflicted with chuckle voodoos. Oh. Wonderful. Uh. Yeah, it feels like when the older fucking purple bloods used to bully you with magic. Oh, great! <laughs> it's here to just speak. like home. Going on. You, you open your eyes. You're on the floor. <laughs> he, just, he just goes. I'm not doing that. To... The clowns are gone. It was comfy. Okay. I'll sit up, but I won't get all the way up. Uh, once more. It goes I'm, over to help Leslie up. <laughs> I'm losing my shower time. So, again, who are you? Why do I care? Introduce yourselves. The fuck? Okay. I, well, I, my name is Dave. Hi. He, he, his mouth was just getting slowly more open as he waited. He was like, <laughs> he's like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, just, he looks at you he says Dave human okay okay understandable I just had back into reality what the fuck did I miss uh, Lazily I... called the Imperator rude after he got his shower interrupted he flatlined her and put her on the floor oh okay yeah. he, looked, he looked at her raised his hand she fell to the floor just seizing up and then just got up and now he's asking who the fuck we are so he... Dave introduced himself that is Lazuli. Hi. My head's like spinning. <laughs> okay. Lazuli, I have you on our registry. Z, that's not a fucking name. Uh, let's see. Dave, human. I found your Facebook. There we go. Oh, uh, froze. <laughs> What's a Facebook? It appears your grandmother made you a Facebook. Uh, she didn't tell me. All right, I know who you are now. Who else? Who are the rest of you? Well, it's because you're not old enough to use it yet, Dave. She's I'm 18, motherfucker. <laughs> he's, you, by the way, y'all can tell that he's checking not only Earth records, but he's also checking Returnian records. He has record of who every troll is. Oh, oh. don't look at my record, bro. Oh, he already he already did, which is why he's giving you shit. He's like, you look familiar. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Gacy Bundy, human. Gacy Bundy. Oh, Jesus fucking... All right. Sorry, Jigus. Ah. Uh, so you're the purple blood of your world. Understood. There's two of them. Let's go. Um, 
world. Let me think. Let me think. All right. All right. You. And then he points his Edry again. He says, that's not a troll name. It's a nickname. My friend gave it to me. I thought it was nice. I need to look you up. What's your actual name? GM, I want to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you want a magic bullshit? I I want to Hmm. Let's see. How how do I fucking word this? Make false records appear out of nowhere. <laughs> Is that a thing that can be done? Uh, I want... I want to take right the me. identity of a... N another troll from... Uh... My station? Well, you happen to have the horns of one. Oh, And okay. know the name Never of mind. one. <laughs> you also... I will give you okay, this information. <laughs> You happen to know his actual name. Uh, okay, I retract that then. <laughs> Who remember, the fuck do I pretend remember. I am is already disguised. <laughs> so, yeah. you, so you also know his actual name. Yep. Okay. Cough. <laughs> My name yeah. is Vicar Patrice. He looks through the record. He finds <laughs> a troll that looks vaguely like you because of the cloak. He sees the horns and he goes, Okay. I thought you were dead. Life's funny that way. Man, shit happens crazy, dude. Video Sh game. Video okay. game. Yeah, have you seen what's been happening in this game? She's no, that's wild. fair. If there's a respawn mechanic, I... <sighs> oh, that's probably why the fucking squids keep getting up. Never mind. Squids? Squid? Your Squid? planets, are, Your planets are protected by the shitty little moons. Uh... The dark planets over there, they ain't protected by shit. And I'm guessing from squids? Uh, closest thing I could say. But they don't die when they die, and even the drones are having issues with them. They're quite strong. I was taking a shower to try to get the ichor off me. Well, one of Did a good job. Now, so, there's that. He just kind of looks at you, and he's like, he's not sure if to like to call you retarded or to go. This is an alien. They don't know that I'm just cool. <laughs> this is an alien. He's also dying, and he's, he's... the person playing him is also dying. <laughs> yeah, but basically, you see him kind of like raise eyebrows. At you and just go, hmm, okay, okay. So, little V needed a lift. He's gone. Why? Mm -hmm. And are we still going? No, no. He didn't tell us why he left. He does the lizard blink where one eye blinks and then the other. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you like... Ooh. Chimney, I'm glad that's like an autonomous reaction for you as well, because I have that in my head 24-7 when people say shit. Yep. <laughs> uh, and he just looks at you all he says... Well, figure it out while I get done with my shower. The door's open. Okay, thank you. No problem. Thanks, bro. Oh, uh, he fucking looks at you, uh, uh, Lasley. He lifts you up. You're standing up now. With he lifts you up with uh, rust blood powers, puts you on the ground, and you're standing up straight. He dusts you off with it. He's like, "Sorry, I've been a bit irritable, and I wouldn't want to be rude on our first meeting." <laughs> You're oh, rude. it's okay. Shut Everybody's up! He's rude to me. <laughs> no! The little V. You're, Dave, you're, you're trying to help you up. You're rude. Brain blast you. Oh, sorry. That was rude. <laughs> My bad, G. It's all good. He literally said, I didn't know you were cool like that. <laughs> but he just goes in. If you need something, the drones are come inside. The door's open. Just don't walk into the shower with me. I will kill you. <laughs> Zedria is going to he's nod and bow when, when he, he says that. Me. He's staring at the humans when he says that because he doesn't know how they think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, bro. You're good. Uh, he hits you with the you know the little you know the little surfer wave thing with the two fingers out like Mahalo or whatever. Yeah, like Mahalo. yeah, bro. He does that as he's leaving. At least that's universal. 
All right, cool, fantastic. You uh, hear Ocean Man playing as he's showering. Good <laughs> God, God. Oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna be at 26 health, DM. Okay. That's uh, that's how much is left. But uh, the fucking weavers are topped off, and uh, then I go eep. So now you're resting for your scene one. Uh, and probably scene two. Understood. And probably whenever the fuck we travel, so smiles. How about, how about, okay, listen, how about everybody get in the fucking house, please? I was gonna okay. say, the ship. Yeah, we'll we can say, go into the house. <laughs> I will say this the drones do say before you leave, the ship will stay for as long as he allows. And then one of them leans down to you. It's got the fucking blue blood in it, but it's not blue, it's like weird teal. It leans down, and it goes, You should be quick. If he gets impatient, he will leave. Yeah. All right. Not everybody in the fucking house. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that way we can talk it out. You go into your house. The dr go back to chilling around the ship, just defending it. Cool. Amazing. Now, real quick. Mm -hmm. I need all of you, when you're in front of him, Refer to me as Vicar, please, and thank you. Yes. Right. Why? He, c Because we have a complicated relationship. Why? That's very personal. Hmm. But Fine. it basically... Um, what is it? It, it just... It, it, it depends on how much he likes me essentially he could as easily as fucking kill me like he uh wrecked your ass for just saying rude ballsy of you first of all sometimes i think so fast it comes out of my mouth i'm so, so smart to too. Up anyway <laughs> you're great the fucking cloud i'm too smart for my own good <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna put up a thumbs up anyway because she liked that, despite the fact. Uh, he's like getting I, up from your heads, and he's like, "Was it funny?" Uh, <laughs> Did he I, laugh? I say, I, I, my lips move a lot. My, I looks like I'm saying a long conversation, and uh, after I close my mouth, a, a few seconds pass, and then I say, "Okay," but I don't move my lips when I say that. It's like a bad fucking foreign dub. Who the fuck is calling me? Very good. Okay, neat. Now that we have that established, secondarily, once Gacy does his shit, I would recommend that you and Gacy go into the ship. Gacy, you can't- he's not gonna be here. He fuck the fucking phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. It. Cool, no, no, he's coming out because you guys keep interrupting me. You fucking fag! <laughs> Please, I'm gonna lose my train of thought if I don't say the shit. I'm not saying everything's on a timer, but you guys literally standing in front. It's like the D and D party standing in front of the lich. Like, what do we do, guys? They talk for five minutes. The lich it's is just gonna go. All right, well, that was interesting. Chain lightning. <laughs> yeah. It's Neat. a magical girl transformation. Now watch uh... this drive. <laughs> literally. All right. Well, that was a cool. Uh, that was a cool scene transition. I like your conversation. I like your tactics. Catch this overhead. <laughs> <laughs> I am back. What a mess. Okay. See what on you. You, Lazuli, gonna go in the Imperator ship. You are going to rest in the Imperator ship because you can take your bed on the ship. You can take your bed on the ship. It's Good gonna point. take you some time to travel. In that time. You should get to Lazuli's planet, and if you need to rest some more, you could do so. But I would recommend you do that. Kay. What are you guys gonna do? Go to Dave Dave's? and I, yeah, Dave and I are yeah. going to go to Dave's planet, and then we're going to meet going with, to that with the one ship. Um, we got uh the other ship that we came in. We got a ride. You remember? Right. I got so, yeah. So that, we're going to use that to go to Dave's, and then we're going to meet you guys at Lazuli's planet. I have no idea what the fuck is up with Little V. He fucked off, apparently he wants to be alone, so fuck it, he's going to be alone. Mm -hmm. 
I don't like that, but I guess there's really nothing we can do. Literally, there is nothing that we cannot do. I asked the Blood Knight where he fucked off to, and he just fucking, I don't know, did a beeline, zigzag, whatever the fuck, somewhere towards the nothingness. We're not going to be able to track him now that this amount of time has, like, fucking passed. Unless you want to ask the help of the Imperator, which I don't know if he wants to help with that. <laughs> well, after, once we board and get to my planet, maybe, like, when we exit the ship, I could ask him if he'd be willing to help us. But To I what? Find little doubt, B? Yeah, but I doubt he will have the time. I mean, he... He has the time. He's just stingy with his time. Yeah. You heard the drone. He's impatient. So we can't really dilly-dally on this. Alright, well, I'm good to leave whenever. I'm gonna finish up what I'm doing and then I'm going to go to the ship and rest. Uh, I, I look to uh, Leslie. I guess you'll be the one talking to him the most then. I say Gacy, 26 HP. Gacy, if you want to put together a searching party for Little V, I suppose you can. And then With if there's army. any way for them to <laughs> communicate back to you on where he is. Um, That's if you feel like you can spare your army, I guess. I am thinking, do I want to... I think I'm going to take Blood Knight with me. Wise. <laughs> well, wise, and also, you know... The the greatest, because he is also needed here for the them. But is there not another second in command kind of thing for them? It would most likely be the the four squires that he was with at the beginning. Okay. But that would be about it. Oh. Well, hopefully that will do. I feel like we are in a bit of a time constraint. So I we have to work so with what we... <laughs> we have to work with what we're fucking dealing with. Mm -hmm. Fine. Especially if planets are being blown up. I'm going to go finish this then. Goodbye. Alright. Uh, uh, ADM, is it... Uh, how long was... Uh, how long ago was the dungeon... For, um, fucking tier two boys. How long is the dungeon for the tier two? What do you mean, how long is the dungeon? Sorry, when was the last dungeon run? Was it last scene or the scene before? Currently, there are two that are complete. This scene, the third cycle, begins. Okay. So there are, there are, I already rolled on it, that you have two tier twos as of right now. And I mean two tier two teams. Yeah. Um, did team, did the first one go into tier, the two to three yet? They haven't yet. That was, that is what they're doing this round. If you want to, one of your tier twos will go into the dungeon to try to become tier threes. Yeah, once they equip themselves and they feel that they're ready, if they feel that they're ready, yes, I, I would appreciate that. Okay, it'll take them three scenes to do it, but they'll try. Thumbs up. All right. So, uh, what's your current game plan, and tell me the actual actions your characters are doing. You are currently I separating. I am walking out to the ship. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm in the ship, there is a bed, the fucking surgery thing, and I sleep. That is going to be however <laughs> long that is going to take. Make cool. sure you tell the um, Imperator that you are going to send out a search party to get little v even if it's a lie hmm no uh that's for other people to talk for nice nigger yeah uh, <laughs> I, I did just say i'm gonna let lazily deal with it i'm going to go to bed i have 26 hp good night i laughed and coughed and sneezed and i 
Oh. <laughs> Lazuli, yeah, you are going to do the thing. Hardy Leslie, har, har, Leslie, hardy har. you, you hear him listening to uh, Bananarama, and he uh, basically he steps out of the shower, and he's like, it never comes off. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. It's you. So, what can hello. I do you for? How you doing? Do you not like me? I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna make my eyes as big as possible, and I'm gonna. I've always got like some tears welling, so I'm gonna make sure my eyes are really wet. My lips are. My lips are gonna try to. Do you not like me? Uh, he walks up to you. He grabs both sides of your head and looks down at you, and then he licks his thumb and tries to wipe away the green thing on your eye. And when it and when it doesn't work, and it just rolls into the back of your head, he goes, "I don't dislike you. I just purple bloods are hard to deal with." Yeah, I know. I'll look at the floor. <laughs> I understand you're all still young. You're a bit younger than me, maybe maybe a sweep. I understand things are hard. You've all been working your hardest. I understand. It's difficult. But you have to trust me. It gets worse. Um, now, 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 what are we doing? What did you need? Um, I have a favor to ask you. He well, just my friend... his eyes strain, but he just looks at you. Yes, what is it? <laughs> so, you know, little V is gone, and I didn't know if you had any extra people that you could maybe look for him because we don't know where he is, and I'm really concerned. <sighs> I can send a few drones to sweep the planet, but I probably, I'm probably not going to be here when they find him. That's fine. That's, I just want to know where he is. But me and Gacy are going to hitch a ride on this spaceship to my planet. And I'm really hoping that you, your, your, your drones can find him. Because it's really important to me. And I think he has some stuff to say to you, obviously. If he made you come all the way out here. It's annoying that I now have to fetch him. But that's par for the course. <clears throat> Fine. Let's see. Your planet is which? And then he pulls up a hologram of all the planets. Hologram. I'm gonna the try hologram. to. I'll just point. I'll plop my hand on it. He just this he, one. You, you see his neck kind of like cringe up, like Ugh. He's like, mm -hmm. "All right. Well, ah, uh, let's see." He hits a button. The ship takes. Ah. I've left eight drones to go find him. If he's in any, if he's in any direction, they'll eventually get to his ass. I don't think anything on this planet should be able to fight a drone. At least not that I've seen. Looks no like horror. a giant windmill Gundams. Yeah. No yeah. No squids. I guess Dave just looks out the window and it's pew. Bye. Pew. Very good. How long until Mama Pond oh. and Coyote comes? Uh, they literally just left earlier if you call them back they get here this scene and you can leave this scene again like we, they we already... literally had just left at the end of last session yes they, yeah. they, they essentially took off from the planet the other ship landed and then you called them back they're already here hey can you make a u-turn please thanks literally, I'm sorry. They, you guys. <laughs> hit the air brakes at the edge of the atmosphere and come back down and go now what is it baby <laughs> hey mama what is it when Oh, I'll God, do I need to talk to myself? Make me go. <laughs> I'll do it, you ah. fucking retard. Okay. We need to ride back to my planet, because we gotta do some stuff for my brother. And oh. us. Which one's your? Oh, yeah, baby. Of course. Well, it's on the way. It's not. It's... It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's on the way, but it's okay. It's not, but we... we yeah. And then fucking like Pazzi Leon just kind of... Pazzi Leon just kind of shrugs and he goes... Detour. <laughs> adventure. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he very much gives me the vibe of a fucking dog putting their head out the window, except he can't. Basically. Oh, he's got a night helmet. That shit's pressurized. I promise. I'm lying. Because... <laughs> I was about because... to have a fucking pressurized helmet. I'm, of course rich? I'm lying. He doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I could handle it. This. I can handle space. <laughs> Great. Fuck off then. Born be upon ye. Hi, Kaz. Hi, Casanova. Hey. 
Casanova. Casanova. Oh. Damn it, it should have been Casanova. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's good. All right, oh, wow. so, my dear, dear friends, uh, <laughs> you guys board the ship, and you head off to Dave's planet? Yes. Understood. Well, two of you get your travel scenes. Would you guys like to perceive a boss battle? Uh, I rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, you perceive your boss battle. You perceive your boss battle in your dreams. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I recognize that it's a dream. Uh, I spin the little thing and I wait for uh, the main actor of Inception to come and save me. So, <laughs> Lazuli, are you going to chill with the Imperator or are you going to go nap with your buddy? I want to hang out with the scene. Imperator. Okay. Uh, mm, as you yes. stick to him like glue, he kind of just wanders around and you realize that uh, he's basically doing the boring royalty job and he really doesn't like it and he's just kind of stressed. Can I, like, dance for him can i do a little gesture dance what, what is you that absolutely word? can what the fucking you, I'll be like, you, you should have her out. you should have her chica, recite chica, chica, the, uh, baka, the baka. halo 2 fucking new dialogue like rizzler device no that'll fix him i will say this i i know how you work leslie uh, the first trick you show him, he he just kind of looks at you and then looks back down. The second one, he rolls up a newspaper and just kind of holds it in his hand. The third one, he just smacks you on the forehead and starts laughing. Oh, if that makes you laugh, you can do it whenever you want. He just he just he just, he just, he just, he just goes to do it again and then his hand just unclenches and he just starts laughing. He's like, "Jesus, uh, gee, Gus." I'll do a oh. somersault. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Have you ever been normal? You, you just start doing the fucking that in general. That yeah. Game. Did you have any friends growing up? What what are you? Um, I'm a clown, and I think I'm a pretty good one. <laughs> Call him. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at you and goes, Jesus, all right. You can, you can do whatever you want. Just stop fucking doing that while I'm drinking my coffee. I, I'm. Okay. It's hot, and I'm not having it go through my fucking gills. I was gonna say that picture of uh, Lazuli with the kiss on his head's the last time he was happy. Yeah, it's all yeah. Right yeah. Here. <laughs> that was it. All right. Uh, but yeah, he just lets you chill next to him. Y'all get a rest. Uh, what do y'all do with Mama Pon and fucking Ponce de Leon? How just... many rest scenes do I get, DM, please? One. <laughs> oh, One? God damn it. Um... Son of a bitch. E... Jesus I mean... Christ, Cat, you purr like a motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, while they're on the ship and everything, I guess Dave's helping Mama Pond with, like, anything she's doing. Yeah. Boy, I swear to God, if you fucking vomit in my room, oh. do not. Okay, yeah. Um, We are going to chill with the Mama Ponds. Um, I can't think of anything to craft at the moment. But I would say, let's play the card you, game. You know what you should have just done? Oh, yeah. You should have looked at Gacy. You should have just went, Gacy, can you build us a spaceship? Heavy sigh. Gets the knife out. Yeah. I, no. Uh, I know. That's why we didn't ask. Because you would be super fucking dying. And you would end up needing like three rest scenes. Yeah. You'd be decommissioned for three Un fucking unless scenes. Unless A, Lazuli, and B, Knight, and C, whoever the fuck else decides to join the circle sleep session, I'm I, I'm going to be at 226 <laughs> out of 700. Smiles. Uh-huh. <laughs> it sucks not having a lot of HP, huh? Yeah. I know. <laughs> perhaps, mm. perhaps if you stop sacrificing all of your HP, the moment you get it back, you will have some more later. No. <laughs> all right, so y'all are playing card find, games. I will find a way to sap the life out of others. That's what's going to happen. So, 
Y'all uh-huh. are playing a card game and goofing off. The other one's fucking clowning cool. around, and the other one's resting. So, oh, dead is the correct word. Anyway, continue. So, Leo, we'll get back to you as your uh, second scene begins significantly quicker than theirs. Time to Dia, old friend. Ah, uh, let's go. Well, I have the three songs. I have the pre-fight, the mid-fight, and like the end of the fight. So, dragon, dragon rush him. Rack and rush him. <laughs> yeah, if only I made a technique like that. Can I can I give my grapple rapid eight? <laughs> uh, <laughs> barrage eight or whatever the fuck we had the If you got a technique for it. I I was being sarcastic. No, you actually could if you got a technique though. Well I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could have the, the button where I hit the button and everything around me in a sphere dies instantly if I have a technique for it. <laughs> I will now play the music. Oh God! He he looms Paper down space. at you. I look up, and I advance to the center of the. Uh, I I ascend to the circle of judgment. <clears throat> he holds his hand out, and he basically says, "There is far enough, my son. Now, what are you doing here? I'm. Do you even know where you are? <laughs> I've nary a clue where I am. All I know is that." justice is in this domain I can tell at the very least you have found him my name is justice I am the high justice my name's also justice very well (laughs) so you've uh, come for what then everybody else came here to die I'm not sure. I did not come here per se to die, though if it is my fate, then I am not against uh, going against... Well, I'm not going to go against what has been weighed out for me. This place here, venerable as it is, I can tell, is, surprisingly enough, one of the most well-put-together experiences I've been on outside of the Returnian ship. Of course. You think the prison they would make to hold me would not be grand and presentful? A prison? It is designed as such, yes. It can't hold me forever, and it similarly cannot hold my kin. But that is neither here nor there. You have come to be judged. And as such, I will be your judge. I take, off the, up. <laughs> I take off the visage of Sanguinius. Very good. So, you look like me. Did they send you to kill me to take my place? To kill I me. never know. I came yeah. here of my own volition. Interesting. Do you know what you're searching for? The truth, the answer, the way to make everything just. I am wrought with betrayal, mistrust, and the fact that this entire experience is nothing but malaise. (laughs) My planet's destroyed, my sprite is destroyed, and I am without a quest or a purpose as far as I can tell. I have nowhere to go but here. Hmm. Understood. It is time, then. Let us begin the judgment. He reaches under his coat and pulls out a heart. Okay. It's got teal blood pumping out of it, and he puts it on the left scale. (laughs) And then he says, Come, then. Let me judge you. And then he basically poses up like he's about to kill you. I don't know if Uh, I want to resist. (laughs) I mean, you could just let him do it. It's funny. Uh, but if you don't resist, then what is he literally just lunges for you, reaches under your skin, and pulls out your heart. Yeah, I'll just open my arms. Fuck it. Cool. You don't die. Oh. He does pull out your heart, though. Uh, and he puts it on the I'm other okay. scale. Uh, your heart is, in his hands, it appears half gilded, half burnt. I raise a brow. 
And then he says, finally, all right. And then he fucking, he basically, a big chair appears. And he says, order in the court, thunk. A bunch of the gavels turn into cameras. Oh. <laughs> uh, he uses an ability called Domain True Law. <laughs> domain and, uh, Expansion. Justice. He basically is hitting you with a Domain Expansion. Justice. Where did Domain Expansion as the meme come from? JJK, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. Uh, but this, this ability is... Actually, it kind of is. Whatever, never mind. Uh, I'm original. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Every yeah. screen, aside from those on the moon, but nobody's there, so it doesn't matter. Uh, every screen on every planet is mutually afflicted. They can all see this. Uh -oh. Every screen is turned to this. Well, me, I'm asleep. I'm well, a... you're not a screen. <laughs> <laughs> that means your phones. None of nothing works except to view this. You all view basically a court case from several different perspectives in the court. And uh, little V, my dear friend. Yeah. All of the chairs that are out, basically in the room surrounding you, they're all filled with what look like dead trolls with like teal blood and gavels. And they all look like they've had their hearts ripped out. I place my hand where my gavel was, and then I feel like I should have brought it, but I cannot. <laughs> so I fold my hands behind my back and stand at attention. And he says, Now, we will hold your trial for three crimes. We will see if you are guilty. Should you be found guilty of any of the three, you will end. Should you be found guilty of two, I will end others. Should you be found guilty of three, I will release my kid. How Very will you well. proceed? I have nothing to oppose the court, as I'm sure the evidence is already gathered. Very good. The first, the first of many egregious, egregious charges is that of your self, your existence, your mutation. The court charges that you are an abomination, not fit for the teal courts. How do you find? I frown. <laughs> <laughs> he quoted him like, ah, what did I do, larceny? Like, you're not real, guy. You're, you're a phony. I, uh... God damn. Back. <laughs> Did you think he was gonna go easy? You're no. like, oh he didn't he didn't kill me instantly. This'll be fun. <laughs> I didn't expect my character to be attacked, brother. <laughs> I close my hands behind my back. May I ask a question before I offer my plea? You may. What is it that makes uh that makes one guilty? of being unfit for such uh, I don't want to say prosperity but such a position in the teal courts when they are reigning over every caste for the most part hmm let me see and then he basically waves his hand a bunch of other teal bloods all come up and uh, they appear to be in the prosecutor's position and one of them looks at you the reason that you may not be allowed within the teal courts is as such. you do not fit the genetic soul or function of the teal courts. Your blood is tainted. Your sin is yourself. Your existence mars our glorious dynasty. The, f the idea simply that an indigo mutant could fit within the troll society courts is laughable. They may serve, they may be inquisited, they may even preside as judge in the case of the Purple Bloods. But, as a beneficiary of the law, you live within it. To rise above or below your station is a crime, is it not? I disagree. If I was born to a brood of teal bloods, destined for higher things with my higher status amongst the caste system, yet I return to my kin and serve in their stead, instead of rising above, is that not the devotion you just spoke of? A devotion to the courts is as such. If a rust blood is criticized by a purple blood, should they take the criticism? 
Should they go to the courts and reprimand each other? Should they take it to a higher authority? No, they should accept their place and accept their punishment. You should have accepted your place as an indigo and stayed out of our world. Hmm. <laughs> your honor, nah. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you mean, nah? -uh? Every troll has its place. Every troll has a place dictated by itself, its existence, its name, and its function. For you to go against your own function, your own form, your dynasty, your legacy, and to t tarnish ours. Even if I do not find you guilty, I find you abhorrent. I will look down. <laughs> The prosecutor like, gets back up on the fucking wall, and then he says, hmm. <laughs> Have you a closing statement? Nice. I look over to the prosecutor called me abhorrent. As do I. <laughs> I turn my attention back to the judge. Ah, he says, do you have any closing statements, my son, and that was yours? That's my closing statement in regards to the prosecution, yes. Very good. You, in your... M <laughs> Sorry, let me fucking fix his voice. You, in your moment of understandable agony, self-hatred, and despicability, you understand that you are flawed. You understand that you do not fit. But you yearn for it. A place. Unfortunately, in this crime, you are seen as... Make a mind check. Okay. <laughs> You okay. are seen as all ones. Yeah, baby! You're, you're going up against the prosecutor, luckily, not the judge. 412. Yes, sir. That's, that's low. Oh, hey. Nice. You are, you are seen as innocent by virtue. I stand a little taller. Next. He is 5'3 now. You are charged. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck God up! Damn. <laughs> the more right I get, the more I just become Lottavy. You are charged. And then he brings up the next ghost. The next ghost looks at you and says, you, you are to be charged with a crime most heinous. The murder of an innocent supplicant. A hard-working troll. And... A dear friend to many that you call ally. You are brought forth on the crime of murder of the player, Vicar Patrice. And then, ah, uh, he sh <laughs> the, the guy guy tries to call a witness. He can't. <laughs> okay. He tries to call a witness again. He can't. He tries to call the third witness. He can't. He kind of shrugs and he goes, oh. Very well. Very well. Then I will submit the evidence myself. The do- Okay, that one's missing. That one's gone. That do- That one was atomized. Understood! Video evidence it is! Uh, you see from the perspective of the moon that was above your planet. Mm -hmm. Uh, it scrolls down and it basically- they rewind for a bit, and it goes back to the earlier conversation. In this case, it appears that the young vicar was attempting to assist the other players. He attempted to scry for them, to craft for them, to sacrifice his very lifeblood and safety for the- He sacrificed a very tumultuous thing for a jade blood. Himself. I believe this sacrifice was noble. But you killed him. In your negligence, your aggression, and your disregard for station. You removed a jade blood in the most active service they could provide. The nurturing of others. How do you plead? Not guilty. I did not kill a vicar, Patrice. My actions resulted in the inadvertent death of a... Pre of, a of the same brood, perhaps? But the name of the person I killed by... My actions was Dismas. Uh... Very well. He did not even know the identity of his victim. His callousness has reached another level. Allow me! And then he shows you up on the wall. Uh, there's a mugshot with uh, what looks like Dismas covered in blood and a couple stitches. And it says Vicar Patrice on the name tag. 
And it's very clearly a Returnian court law. He, is, he was a victim of, uh, sorry, not he was a victim. He was a perpetrator of a cult sacrifice of lesser bloods and was almost put to death for it on Returnia. But uh, so, it says that his name is Vicar. You see Dismas on the screen, but the name tag he has that he's holding up is Vicar Patrice. Yet more deceit from those are supposed to be called my allies. You believe a simple exchange of names is more than enough to v basically validate homicide? This creature, you... as far as I had understood it, from what I was told by that within the laws of the game, was cheating, breaking the laws of the world and its structure. That is why I destroyed its instrument. I was not to... Well, there's no way I could have known that I would have destroyed the creature itself. Very well. Now let me ask this. Do you believe the others would find you innocent of this crime? Do you believe that the guilt you hold for his death should only be based on your assertions? Negative. I have those who... Well, I had one who would have agreed with me. The others, of those who are supposed to be called my allies, I believe are possessed, inflicted, bound by some sort of otherworldly power or magic. They cannot speak freely, and therefore whatever they say would not be of their own will. Very well. I believe the courts will find this next record the most damning. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it goes back to Dismas in his fucking moon, and it's basically the recording. You can finally see the internals of the moon properly. Uh, he was making things for you, and it basically goes through an entire video process of him actually sacrificing chunks of his soul into each doll, and then chunks of his soul into a batch of items for each of you to make. Uh, by the end of it, Homeboy was withered to shit. Uh, you'll see something. You basically see his body withered to absolute shit. Like, he looks on the doors of death. He looks ancient. And then, he draws a rune on his own forehead and his blood, and he looks youthful again. But you can tell it's just magic, making the front half of him look normal while he's on the screen. Hmm. And then he starts calling people one by one and starts having things delivered. And then he gets a call from his two selves, which were on D uh, Durst and Prospect. And uh, they look similar. <laughs> They're not doing so well. But they all have similar items, and they all discuss how they should be distributed, when their allies should get their things, and so on. Ah. Uh, you hear their voices, and it goes, Well, very well. I'm not sure we should send this to the clown at this moment. Are you sure about that? Which ones should get the proper weapons, and which ones should get the scaling ones? And Dismas goes, Well, I personally think the combat character should be given the priority. They're the ones that will work as a safeguard for the other players until we can get free. Which I hope does not occur quickly. But uh, regardless, I'm getting a call. And then he gets a call, he has to go through the fucking five people. Then he finally gets to you. Uh, midway through the conversation, he is ripped in half. The other three are ripped in half. The glamour on his body is still there, but they are still withered to shit. Homeboy was basically on death's door before it happened anyway. Hmm. And, he, and he says, There, now you see what you have caused. You see the destruction you've wrought. A man going against his nature, his fate, and his past. Attempting to save you from your future. And you killed him. Do you believe that your justice is true justice? Do you believe that your assertions are now correct? Do you believe you acted in good faith and understanding? I raise my hand to my chin. Do I believe that now? No. After I have all of this information presented to me by the courts, that and the actions, of course, of the creature displayed, I believe that I did indeed create a rather unfortunate set of circumstances. However, this is still not to my character, as, regardless of the disposition I had towards the creature, I never meant it harm. Not only this, the creature itself, as I had stated, was going against the laws of the lands, which I feared would bring much ruination upon us. This is also partially recommend or reprimanded, at the very least, 
by the fact that, with this creature's death, there is one less troll, though my recent escapades and working with the remaining fuchsia blood within the server has given samples of the remaining bloodlines towards that creature in order to recreate our species as we are the last of them. We have also seen this. Subsection A of this charge. You criticized this being known as Vicar for breaking the laws of the game. But yes, you work with an interloper to destroy the laws of the game, to bypass them, to invalidate them. You use them to your will and then you disregard them. Exhibit A! And then he shows the Imperator literally flying through space. He's chilling. Uh, shows the Imperator basically doing his makeup, you know, fixing up his hair. Like, this being, this interloper, breaks every rule of the game, seeks to usurp it from its rightful owners, seeks to destroy the laws of the game. You punish Vicar for this action, but you reward the Imperator. Incorrect. It was not a matter of reward or punishment. My actions towards the Imperator were because his justice, so to say, was going to be forward, forward towards that of the actual race of the trolls. At the point in time of which I believed Vicar to be cheating, Vicar being his name, as of course have stated, rather than Dismas, is to the point of detriment. I thought and believed with the advisements of the game's systems, that this would be detrimental to everybody. Now that I see that the Imperator is working towards saving our race, I believed Alternian, or Returnian law, superseded that of the law of the game. As with the creation of a new universe at the end of said game, we would be the ones reigning supreme. Very good. Now that we've heard your statement, I am complete. I am finished. And then he just disappears and reappears in his seat. Uh, the judge looks at you. Do you have any closing statements? I express regret for my harsh judgment, but Durelex said Lex. There is not much one can do about the actions that have already transpired. It is most unfortunate, and I accept my judgment, whether it is against my beliefs or for them, as I am in a courtroom ordained by... Well, I would say my peers, but I trail off. All right. Uh, go ahead and make me your mind check. I find the defendant blank. According to the judgment of the Oratrice McGadiste and Elise Cardinal. You literally. I find the defendant irrelevant to the charges. Raise a brow. And then he basically just holds his head up. <laughs> many a cycle I have seen, and many a cycle I will see after you. And in any of those cycles, I have seen this creature get close to death more often than any. But never has he actually died in the corporeal sense. I suspect the little freak is still scuttling somewhere looking for a way back. I believe that your method of his murder this time was irrelevant. He dies or he lives, and it's usually not due to anyone else. His machinations bring his own ruin. I cannot hold you accountable for something older than you, that you do not know the rules of. You are innocent by virtue of you are irrelevant to the equation. Had you killed him or not, very little will have changed. Hmm. The final charge. <laughs> and then uh, he appears in the prosecutor's position. <laughs> Womp. Ow. <laughs> no, not, no. It's a separate him. It's a smaller separate him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we find the defendant sick nasty. Uh, is, he, is this <laughs> the one wearing the jacket? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> he appears oh, fresh. Oh, no. Fun. Your Honor, I would like to present to the court the charge that Little V, Justice, has been the least, LEAST trustworthy of all, in one particular regard, the most functional and original of all returning in traditions. Loyalty. He has, in his own capacity, 
abandoned his friends to their death. Allow me to display. <laughs> uh, you guys, while you're watching, you can't hear half of what he's saying. Oh, me, me, me. Uh, man. And then he points to various different planets, but you can't hear certain things. I'll tell you what you'll hear at the end. Can I but read says, lip? You could try, but he doesn't have any. Fuck. <laughs> uh, but he basically, he opened. Now, you gotta understand, son. From where you sit, you may think that you've done nothing. That maybe you've separated yourself from them to maybe ward yourself away from the magics. Maybe protect them from your wrath. Maybe simply distance would solve all your problems. But you, a player, have abandoned the only one that truly viewed you as a friend. In their heart of hearts, they knew it was you that would lead them through the game. That it was you that would save them from perdition and hatred. It was you that left them to die as they head toward their death now. And then he basically points to the fucking... Points to their, uh, their ship, the Imperator ship, traveling to the fucking grave world. And it shows a... He basically flashes forward to a very, very dark room. Now, you may not understand this, but not all foes are created alike. I am the intelligence of the enemy. This freak is the strength. And then it shows a chained up little guy. The little uh, man. He shows a chained up little man on a big slab in a crypt. And it shows a bunch of skeletons. And uh, skeletons slips and stabs him in the chest. Oh. The little guy's just writhing and trying to break free. But they stab him in the chest and they both lean back. And then he goes, due to your problems... Due to the fact that you had slain another player, due to the fact that you have eradicated the thing that would have kept these creatures in check, this one's about to go free. Observe. And then on the screen, you see the little guy gets stabbed, and then both the skeletons go like, Oh God, oh God, what happened? Oh, well, we just killed the prisoner. Oh, is, that, is, is it that easy? If it was that easy, why are we locking him up? They're both destroyed instantly. Uh, the creature has now broken the chains and is bigger after being stabbed through High, uh, it, high actual dismiss. Uh, yeah, you see similar horns to Vicar, but the creature is large. And, uh, you see it basically escaping the crypt. As the skeletons get larger and keep killing it, every time they kill it, it gets back up bigger. Over and over. And, uh, it appears to be breaking out of the crypt and shattering different levels of it. And everything it touches gets back up with new rotting green flesh. This thing appears to be near mindless, though. You do, he points to you and he says, You may not understand this again, but the foes are distinct. We are designed to make sure that the players can only win if they are truly powerful. Do you think your friends can take this? An enemy that cannot die? The sedition, I... the sedition I encountered with those creatures that are controlled, if you still call them my allies, proves very well that they are of equivalent strength to me, if not greater. I know for a fact that Lazuli himself is stronger than me and perhaps smarter. I left my compatriots, whether or not they were under the influence to seek justice, because I thought it would help the session, with or without my interference in any future fights. I knew that I was the only one amongst them who would understand justice. Well, let me and go ahead and this in art real quick, hold on. Okay. I gotta get these in here. I gotta post! <laughs> I'm gonna post! I'm gonna bust! Enter, 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 get posted, get posted. Basically. Yeah, look in general. Uh, you see, this This is the creature that you saw basically escaping. Uh, when it finally escaped through the upper levels of the crypt, it's not free yet, but it waves its gold arm and just dozens and hundreds of fucking creatures are just waking up and getting stronger. I look at the vision. I paint a massive reverse card. And I think that he has a very pretty robe. Very good. <laughs> and then continue. 
Uh, he just looks at you and he says, Now, we're not checking your innocence of understanding. We're not checking your innocence of intention. We're checking the innocence of your action. We're checking, did you abandon your friends? Did you leave them to die to this creature? Absolutely did you? not. No, follow along. Did you roam away from the rest of your peers while they were afflicted with magics that you thought would destroy them or corrupt them while you sought a powerful creature? Justice, a selfish goal for yourself. Did you or not, did you or did you not come here to die? If I came here to die, I would have fought as the indigo blood that I am purported to be. I saw this place was ruled by, of course, now that you recognize yourself as an enemy, my foe, or the foe of someone else who is in charge of this planet. I'm unsure of who is. Regardless, I'm fairly certain that I'm the only one who'd understand these processes. If it's not about intent, if it's not about beliefs, if it's not about anything of those sorts, then I think the right decision is, I gesture towards the courtroom, me being here at this time. Solving this, the information you've given me with the release of this other foe, is information they don't have. Whether or not my presence is aboard that ship, I can still help them. But, way, well, the way you're talking... Seems to imply that this malaise that they are undergoing isn't entirely detrimental, given the facts that you've stated that this vicar is still alive in some way, shape, or form, if not corporeally, and the visage adopted by the one that I knew as Zedria being significantly different than what the tomes and the murals had portrayed leads me to believe that there is interference from him still. I'm realizing this now. Now let us get to the last piece of evidence. Something your silly little mind could never have understood before you opened the door. I would never dream of leading you astray. As the High Justice myself, a fragment of, I would like to tell you something. I have never lied. I have seen all possibilities. And I trust that you understand what I mean by this. When I say you have doomed your friends, I mean that due to your actions, your friends will die soon. But not the way you think. Uh, the actual fucking High Justice stands up, grabs one of the walls, and uh, you see fucking teal, like, branches start opening up in it. Like, actual tree branches start creeping up out of his skin, afflicting it, and the branches part and then part, and then part. They grab the tree. The tree displays... What's the tree display? It displays you fighting him after he pronounces you guilty, you losing, dying, it causing Lazuli to come back and die to him as he releases the other foes which go and kill the rest of your friends. That is a possible outcome as you've portrayed? That is unfortunately for you. The only outcome I will allow. And why is that? Because I am not here to save you. I am not here to help you. I am here to end you all. Then what was this farce to begin with? Mm, how do I explain? You ever been starved? I st scratch my chin. <laughs> no. Hmm, very well. Have you ever been slain? Have you ever been beaten? Have you ever had to give up your dignity? Have you ever had to play dead to a weak enemy so that you could win? Yes. You understand now. To us, compared to us, those that raised us are more powerful. They would destroy us. They would warp us. They leave us only the basest part of ourselves. And the basis part of myself is law. Were I not to have this court, I would not be a worthy foe for you. 
and yet here you stand, after having promised the provisions of my demise, my allies' demise, and the demise of everything at the hands of your minions, conditionally with those three guilty charges, of which two I have been acquitted. Tell me how that is justice. Uh, <laughs> you uh, see the third charge, yeah, and then he basically slams it down, you're pronounced guilty. He kills you. Nothing else happens for a little while. Then the other people start acting up, doing something that breaks the rules. He goes free, and then it causes it. He does not get free. He gets free because you left your friends alone. Hmm. Interesting. You coming and dying here after losing this last charge, that has nothing to do with him getting free. But it does. Oh, I, I'm well aware of what's right. happening. Yeah. So, whether or not there is a Hmm, how you say, a clause for any loophole or lack thereof, my presence here is the initiation for your reckoning. Correct. Right. Without you waking me up, I would have had to wait. And what will you do when this is over? I think... I think I'll meddle. I think I'll look to your dear, dear little... Human Dave, who's been fucking with fate. I think I'll set that right. I think I'll push that back in the right way. I think he's had it too good for too long. And then I think I'll go to your dear friend Zedria, and I'll have her pay for all that free power she's gotten. And then I'll go to Lasley, the only person that actually gave a shit about you, and I'll become you. I will kill you where you stand. You gotta understand. It's hard enough being polite. But I'm... And then the fucking actual one smites the one that was beside you. The actual fucking High Justice smites the little one that was going crazy. And he just says, My apologies. It's hard to think. The closer I get to getting out. Now, any last words? Any terms? Any please? I'm allowed I to assign like to terms. Go. You are allowed to plead. I plead not guilty. Because if I fight you and beat you, your verdict does not matter. This court will crumble alongside you with the rest of them. If I yeah. leave without your interference, it won't matter because I'll get to go wherever I please and continue to help along these cretins, because without me, according to you, they will die. Whether or not you stand in my way is up to you. My verdict, as you've explained, does not matter, because in your eyes, not the eyes of the court, I'm guilty of what you're about to cause. This is nothing to do with me. This is your vocation, your decision, your meddling, of which the smaller version of you seemed to purport was interesting to him. You do not uh, seem unbiased. <laughs> now, the more, he says, the more interesting thing is that you haven't noticed yet. I look around. Do you believe that a judge can judge himself? Do you believe I could find myself guilty or innocent? No. Of course not. You are not being judged by your peers. Judgment of oneself is irrelevant. And then he uh, leans forward. You see his face. It's yeah. you, chief. Hey, buddy. And then he says guilty and tries to hit you with his hammer. <laughs> I raise he my just, hands. He basically leans in. You ever seen the fucking... Uh, uh, you ever seen the Beavis and Butthead? We're gonna talk about the penis! Yeah, and he leans in, he does that to you, and he goes, Guilty! Thunk! Alright. Uh, you can hit me because I can't dodge that. Smiles. Uh, probably. Well, yeah, he's like, I can't judge you! You're me, shit ass! Let's see, who's fucking messaging me? It's time, my friends, uh, to watch me die. You, Jibs, other things you might be able to do. That one you can't. You're not strong enough to take it from the person that has it. 
and neither is the source of your magic bullshit. Damn. That's the reason he gave it to them. <laughs> Hold on. Actually, I've been holding my reaction this whole time. Yeah. You're, you're in my range first, Chief. Yeah. But yes, basically, yoink. JoJo here. fucking sound effect time stop as I go to grab him. Go forth. Uh, do me a... F uh, let's see, actually. I'm pretty sure you just do get him. But uh, I this is where his effect actually comes into play. Go ahead and roll me 3d6. Just raw ass 3d6. Okay. Uh, when you go to grab him, uh, you realize that your eyes have been obfuscated, and he didn't actually come from that direction. He's over here now somehow. And you see weird teal lines on the ground leading to both places that he was. Okay. <clears throat> what does this mean? I'm assuming you'll understand soon. Uh... <laughs> I mean, he's but, uh, just fucking time-skipping. He's diavoloing me. Kind of similar? You see, but I will go ahead and tell you, you do see a lot of branches all over this room. They're stretching near everywhere. But you do see something interesting. The one that he just skipped and is not on anymore is burnt out. Hmm. Uh, but he is coming for your fucking head. I can't do anything about it. That was my reaction. He goes to grab your head. He grabs me. Well, sort of. It's more of a he goes to basically place a palm on your head, and then uh, it's called the weight of law. Yeah. Uh, you are hit with this. This is actually, no, it's just a DC. Uh, cool, go ahead and make me a fucking DC 150 mind check. Smiles. Unfortunate. Uh, you're basically locked in, you know those weird... Um, what the fuck are they called? Your head and your arms are stuck through, and you're basically locked in. Huh. I know what you're talking about. I don't you know what I'm what talking about. Called, though. Yeah. Uh, and then, basically, the last thing you see is that his horns on each side become guillotine blades. Hmm. And he's, a, he's, about, he's about to drop down to your level and try to t take your head off. But it's your turn. Uh, you notice something. The line that leads to him, you could probably bite him on his way down if he actually follows that attack. And if he doesn't, he wouldn't be able to attack you. Okay, I'm gonna all-out attack, take it, and hit him. But guess what? Okay. I'm shooting a gun. Interesting. Which gun? I have the equalizer. Very good. Which uh, is when you go... Go. Oh, go. I will have his evasion because he, when he goes to attack you, you're taking the, you're guaranteeing the attack to let him attack, to basically get the attack on him. So I'll let that happen. Go ahead. Uh, he will roll this. Forty. All right, you take this damage. All right. You take that damage with deadly uh, 18. 180, okay, one moment. Ouch! Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, go ahead, shoot him. Uh, I rolled uh, 222. 222. Oh. Fuck, he doesn't... Does he? No, you know what? He'll actually do the same thing you did where you took his heart. He will let you shoot him. Okay. Because he sees the outcome. Interesting. Good, 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 good. Uh, when he hits you... Uh... <laughs> What's your current XP, bro? I don't like the sound of that. Uh, 336. <laughs> uh, whatever you're missing to get you to 500, you get it. Interesting. Uh, huh. Uh, here's the thing. Okay. I don't care. I don't care which ones you reduce, but you have to reduce your characteristics by a grand total of 30. That's to meet him in the middle. All right. Uh, huh. He has he has no characteristics, all XP skills. Hmm. 
Luckily, I will let you choose what goes and what stays. But a grand total of 30 characteristics disappear basically instantly as you wither. How does he have HP, then? What, the big guy? Yeah. He hasn't been hit. You have no clue. Fair. Okay, let's see. And also, you don't know... I don't think you know Little V's stats. Alright, I'm gonna spend a bunch of that EXP to gain characteristics back. I lose 10 Great. mental. <laughs> Very good. And then I have 21 EXP. I gotta fucking throw this in here real quick. It's a really good song, but uh, unfortunately, here you go. Yeah, you can change it, that's fine. Only the host can change videos. Give me that, you fucking nit. Well, you weren't in here before, so I couldn't. There you go. Wow! Nice. nice. <laughs> Cringe! Uh... I hate this shit. Um, what's another song I could probably put in here? I got rebalancing to do. <gasps> <laughs> no worries. I expected with this. With the balance it's fun. patch mid fight, literally. Yep. Wow, none of these songs fucking work. What is happening? Please, just one song work. I wish there was any alternative to this fucking YouTube bullshit. This shit's fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Innocent, irrelevant, guilty. Let's see if this one works. I'm actually gonna come? Three in a fucking row. WMG, WMG, UMG, I... Fuck it, just go back to playing yours, I guess. None of the songs I want to play work at all. Cringe. Yeah. Uh, court case scary. I'm going to leave this down to fate. I don't want to, but I need to. All right, uh... Let's see if this almost kills me. So... <laughs> What's up? Look at my uh, new HP, buddy. <laughs> it's fate time. Uh, by the way, that does do damage to him, right? Yeah. Okay, do you want me to roll that before or after my stats? Uh, wait, hold on. Did you hit him with the equalizer? Yeah, I shot him with the equalizer, which is combined oh. with my oh, hands God. because of my technique. Well, the good, here's the thing. The equalizer doesn't do actual damage, but it equalizes between your HPs. Your current HP is 15. Your HP goes up by 275 when you shot him. Nice. Okay... And then I gotta adjust my defense. Jesus fucking Christ. You're going to die, and then I'm going to get out. No, uh. Yeah. Yes, ha. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um. That's done for that. The good news him hitting you did also knock you out of the immobilize effect or bind? Which one is it? 
It's the mind one. <laughs> cool. So remember how we're equalized and uh, he hit me and I hit him? Yeah. Points finger. Mind check. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> yeah, Almost. baby! Hold on, let me check. Ooh. No, let me check what he's got. This motherfucker fucks with fate. I'm gonna scream. For each six, he can roll an additional 3d6. Six. So 66. Uh. Let me see if that's enough. <laughs> that's <laughs> four, two, plus 19. <laughs> 261! Meets beats, buddy. Whoa! Guilty! <laughs> that's actually really good. Holy shit. That's amazing. Meets beats guilty, motherfucker. Let's fucking go. Harsh judgment, that. fuck ass. It's gonna be a t-shirt now. Meets beats guilty? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> He's got your luck. No! Objection. <laughs> Guess whose turn it is. Objection. Your mother! Good. Cool. Um, let me see what I can do about that. Because he can just do his goofy fate. Um... Okay, so the longsword had what, and the bow had what? Uh, the longsword had deadly. And the... Uh, sorry, the longsword had deadly, the bow had... No, the bow had area. That's funny. Uh, reaction, raise hand. You see the bow in my bag, into my hand. And the gun nice. falls out. <laughs> Very good. Uh, thunderclap. I'm clapping the area around me with my goofy hands. Um, on the spot respec. That that hurt a lot. Yeah. Here you go, buddy. That's area. All right. Explosive. Dodge this. Ah. Uh, the region's not very good. I gotta. Uh, homeboy rewinds mm -hmm. to the point where actually you get to do this too. Uh, go ahead and make me a body check. Whoa! Go ahead and check. Where uh, am I like five free techniques, buddy? Uh, you're not actually getting techniques. <laughs> I the know. Good, the, good, the good news is you're not getting techniques, but he is losing them. Okay. Uh, but he still has one really important. He still has two actual techniques, but that guillotine thing that he did and the locking you up, those are gone. That's funny. So he can't just disable you. So but, uh, uh, you are up here now. Real quick. Hmm. We can spend you're in his position and he was in yours. Right. What's up? You can spend. You can spend a luck point for a scene that you're in. Damn, I was they're in this scene. Point. He's yeah, asleep. Yeah, we're technically watching. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gaze, he's asleep. G yeah. Gacy's asleep. He can't do anything. True, he doesn't even know not what's watching happening. Any of this. I'll well, send you a luck point. He's gonna get the vod. I mean, send he's... me a luck point. <laughs> I'm I'm ESP in good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm with you in spirit, bro. Uh, he looks at you. And he appears to be readying something, and he's basically, he reaches up and holds both plates. He hasn't done anything yet, but it appears that he's readying something. I, uh, since I slammed into the throne, I cross my legs and lay across the throne. And uh, then, uh... <laughs> that's a free action, just, buddy. Just gonna piss him off? Yeah. I'm better than you. Um... Fly trap! The throne closes, I die! Yeah! <laughs> Hey, remember how, um, Teehee, you're over there, and you think I can't get to you? Yeah. Alright, uh, point hand, bow, thwunk. Very good. Uh, Don't worry, yeah. I use my reaction to, uh, charge my sneakret attack. Sneakret. Does that hit you, Big Chief? Uh, most certainly will. <laughs> Alright, you ready for damage? 
Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. Calculator. Guilty. Let's go. He um, is guilty. I. It, it's not like Jibs. It's not 1D2. It's he's guilty. <laughs> so let's see. Mm hmm. Oh, man, hold on a minute. That's a lot of dice I gotta put together. I'm so sorry. He's smiling at you as you're attacking him. It's gonna hit me. We're gonna split the damage between us. I know what's happening. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Here's your damage. Uh, that has area of whatever the bow was and burn six. He takes 1140. Bye. Uh, his, his ability activates. Time to die. Divided by two. You take... <laughs> Fine, let's see. Uh oh god. Alright. Here's what's a Come on! Do it! Here's what occurs. He uses a uh he basically locks in and he presses both of his hands onto the hearts. As you shoot him in where his basically heart would be. He presses his hands on top of both of the hearts that are on top of the plates that are on top of the horns. <laughs> he looks at you, he smiles, and he says, We're all guilty. And, uh, he uses the opposite magic bullshit to make sure nothing can alter the state of the room. Thumbs up. Fate is sealed. He smashes his hands down on both hearts. They press down on the plates, and his horns impale both hearts. You take 785 direct HP damage, ignoring defenses. Nice. If this would bring you to below, uh, let me check... Below, to a negative equal to half of your HP. So please let me know if it does that. Because that would obviously kill you after a certain point, but if it brings you below half, like to a negative number that is equal to half of your HP, let me know. Oh, it does. It does? Yeah. Unfortunate. Well, uh, the, good, the, the good and the bad news. The bad news, you die? Thumbs up. The good news, um, some scales appear on your horns, and you close your eyes and sit back into the chair. Yep, that's what I was about to do anyway without you telling me. <laughs> the cycle continues. <laughs> I sit back in the chair, go. close my eyes, and fade to black. <laughs> Correct. Let's fucking go. Oh. Yeah, baby! Right as the song ended, too. Fade to black. <laughs> Impressive. For smiley face. Impressive. Uh, well, gentlemen, you guys got to see that. Yeah, we did. Uh, Everybody v. but one got to see it. Little V, <laughs> uh, very important thing I'll go ahead and tell you, since basically it's already been spoiled and we're already ready. You finally get the cool reveal. Um, you appear in a very dark place. I look around. There's very little around you, but you can see, uh, you can see kind of like a faded out. In the distance, there's nothing but horrible moving figures, a bunch of voices and scratching, and then uh, you can see a little grayscale area off in the distance. I it's march. Like a little window. Uh, when you get there, you can see the room that Zedri and Dave are in. So squint. Interesting. You got there early. I look over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are three Dismases. Wow. A, smile a smiling one, an unha a smiling one, an okay one, and then a basically image-reversed frowning one. I fold my arms. <laughs> took you a fucking minute. It's early, it's but it also took me time. Which is it? Yeah, <laughs> Dismas, uh, the one on the left that's smiling says, both, and the one on the other one, uh, the one on the left says, eh, maybe both. So I walked right into it and died as I should have. Yes. 
The good news is that we got you now, so you can help us. The bad news, Tactician ain't technically out of the running. I figured as much, considering that uh, the last thing I remember was my horns elongating as I faded out. So I'm not dead. You're dead, but you, you're you dead, but your body isn't? It's a f- It's becoming a foe, slowly. And what did you do to me? I didn't do anything. This is my function as a player. Okay, so what did you do to me? <laughs> uh, you're stuck in me now? You're part of me? I am the host of Dusk. I am the host of Ends, the death. When anything dies, I get stronger and I get it. I gesture to the window. What's that all about? Are you the one possessing Uh, them? I haven't... Well, technically, yes. But uh, it's not like an unwilling thing. Most of the time, they're asking for it. But, um... And then you hear uh, horrible scratching and clawing and beating on what uh, sounds like glass. And uh, in the darkness, you see what looks like the, uh... (laughs) You see what looks like... A bunch of freaks, a bunch of imps, a bunch of trolls, the god emperor glowing and screaming, and also, uh, the tactician slamming his head into the wall, trying to get out. And what is their deal? They're dead. They're trying to get out, but right now they're nothing. They're not real. They're a game function. Nothing here except me has any real... Nothing here except me has any real power. Well, nothing here except us. Nothing, nothing here except me. You two are stragglers. Oh, you're welcome for sending you here, then. No, it fucking sucked. Fuck you. But it but has been useful. I smile at him. The more important thing is you made me lazy. Well, no, you stopped me from being lazy. I forget. I get forgetful. The noise is really loud here. But basically, mostly what you've done is instead of helping you all and kind of sitting out most of the shit, I've been stuck here as a I'm helping everybody. Well, you're That's welcome. <laughs> you're shit. <laughs> <laughs> we all played our part. I just died to me. I'm, for the lack of a better term, surprised out. Yeah, I figured. But so, the good news is both of you are dead, so I get both of you. Which is pretty good. I like it. I preferred this outcome. It was the one I was betting on. I thought you were going to explode. <laughs> I thought you were just going to die to him. I forgot you had the pistol. I've never lost a fight in my life. Except yourself, which I guess is a symbol of strength. I didn't You are the steel player. I broke even. I... The scales are balanced as they should be, aren't they? All three of them start frowning now. (laughs) I guess... I found justice. Fuck. Fine. I have to get back to helping them real quick. You... let me think. Uh, What will you have me do, your lordship? Well, um... She probably gets (laughs) it out of the way. (laughs) What would you have your arbiter do? Uh, Well, (laughs) I'll go ahead and say... You're half real and half not. So, as long as I keep you summoned, you're real and not one of those horrible ghouls out in the void. So I'm going to keep you summoned, because apparently it sucks being out there. That means I need your actual powers. When I possess people, I can pass on my or your abilities to them. Very well. I was going I to am give you diametrically opposed to this, but uh, can't really do anything about it. Come on, bro. It's a part of the game. It is now, yes. Besides, um, what was I, go- I was going to give you to Lazuli to help her not die to the other me. Him! But... Huh? He has a penis. <laughs> this check on this shit. Quote this. Oh, uh, Lastly, your your eye rotates down and starts looking at your dick. It's big. And then disappears. And then disappears. The only correct answer. <laughs> and then just reappears in the fucking head. And he goes, "They have a penis. I've checked. Mm-hmm. Okay, they, they are a boy." Little yes. <laughs> and, and then Moss looks to you, Little V, says, Sorry about that shit with Gacy. I couldn't spoil it before it was too late, because if we get too involved, uh, either the foes might get pissed, somebody might figure out what we're doing, or an admin might get mad. So that was you. 
Yeah, I mean, to give you context... I'm putting it together in my head, you don't have to. For the lack of a better term, I would like you to understand that you're the cause of this. Well, that was kind of the intent. There you go. Yeah. Luckily, things are going pretty well. Downside, things are now having to go a lot faster. I'm not sure if y'all are actually going to win this cycle or not, but I'm rooting for you. The cycle is not I'm... broken, so it doesn't matter. It's about to be if they do what I think they're going to do. If they actually manage to get it done, yes, if they do actually win, then the cycle will be broken, which could be a problem. If they win, then they win. Well, no. If you win, perhaps. <laughs> Let me elaborate. If they break the cycle, we either win or we lose. We get one more shot. <laughs> kind of risky. Yes, and that's why I said if they win, they win. Uh, Zedria, Dismas disappears from the headspace, enters your head, and goes, Oh, little V died. Yeah, I saw that shit live. Yeah, I've got him now. He's actually oh. pretty polite. Oh, is he? It's well... kind of weird. All right. Is Andrea talking out loud? I could be. I could be. Look, well, he's... you're talking, I'm just like, oh fuck, what's going on? So he's in my head. Hold on. I could get Mas. I could get Mas to possess <laughs> Gacy to go help them against the other me, but I can't possess Lazuli because they got rid of the fucking mace. I thought you were in his eye. I am in his eye. I can see things and talk to him, well, this is, but I can't possess them through that. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, how about alternate plan? Um, we don't send them back to Lazuli's. That is not the plan right now. That is that's not good. That's not good. So I'm not helping them? You are going to help them, but I think we should try and redirect them to somewhere else that is not his planet, at least not yet, especially if your other self is going fucking psycho. They're already landing, Chief, so are you. Uh, great, okay. Hmm, uh, warn them, I guess. What's go I mean, they've already seen the fucking footage. Okay. I mean... And this is Dave just overhearing the conversation, and so he's just like, well, I mean, if we're landing, couldn't we get Mama Pond and them to go pick them up? Would it be too late? Would it be too long? It would take another scene to get there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Tell Maybe them I can to turn back. And see if he's got some cool whiz shit. He's been doing some shit Hold on my on. planet. Give me a second. Uh, Moss disappears. Gacy, uh, you wake up, you're at the planet. Moss is in your head. He goes, hey, problem. What is it? Uh, they all got a boss monster headed for you quickly. Hey, I, I, I go to the person <laughs> who is the captain. Hey, uh, don't land. Currently, they're already uh, landed. Uh, hey, again, for the third time, off. your take ship off. has already landed. I know. Take off. We're about to be attacked. <laughs> Uh, we're about we're about to be attacked. Please lift off. We could just hover in orbit for a bit. Good news, <laughs> everyone! Three magic bullshit. Uh... Uh, you see three gigantic tombstones fly out of the ground. I, when I say gigantic, I mean like twin tower size. Uh, mm -hmm. Two of them lay across the ship, and the third large one goes to crush the ship, but is blasted by the ship. Nice. He is apparently attempting to keep you from leaving. Again! AGAIN! Uh, unfortunately, you guys hear a lot of- Lazuli, my dear friend, you hear uh, a friendly voice in your head go, Hello, dear, um, are you still alright? Uh, for now. Alright, so, heads up, um, the living embodiment of death is coming for you. <laughs> I uh I think I I think I see. Oh, sorry. I actually got that wrong. Uh let me check my notes again. The living embodiment of unliving. Undeath, no. opposite death, not life, I don't know. It's it's bad and it's you he Leslie, you hear on the comms. All the music around the planet is slowly dying out town by town. Fuck. This is really bad, huh? It could be. I mm... We're gonna find out. I'll get back to you in a second. 
what do you want us to do? <laughs> Don't die. Oh gosh. I'll go try to find Gacy. I'm, the I, Imperator I is the high. Imperator is throwing shit. Like he's actively grabbing drones and throwing them at the tombstones to break them. Uh -huh. nice. How long does it take for a gargoyle to reach where they are? Uh, Express very, very, delivery. Very, very short amount of time, like within the same scene. Gargoyles don't travel, actually. They just use magic. You guys have, ne I will say this, you guys have never actually seen the gargoyles travel anywhere. Do you guys want to know how it works? Because you can ask Dismas. Uh, maybe another time. This is not important information, I don't think. Cool. <laughs> Uh, cause I was thinking he needs some sort of equipment so that, uh, Mass can help beef him up. We could send him one. If and hopefully it'll equipment. reach him in time. Most of our shit's at the moon. Except for Zeus. She takes out a gun. If you... Um... Um... It's not the one that you're thinking of. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you think I was gonna give no motherfucker? Oh alert It's the one the wall. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was the gun that was a wand. Uh, my plan actually was I could go with Gacy. If I bring Little V's soul with me, probably make Gacy strong enough to bully him a little. Yeah, but uh it would probably help if Lazuli also assisted. Yeah, I'm not sure how we help Lazuli. <laughs> Lazuli, uh, a voice appears in your head. Hey, buddy, would you mind getting possessed? What? You mind if I borrow your body for a little bit to fight the boss monster? I could make mm. you a lot stronger. Are you better at fighting than me? I'm better at everything than you. Mm. I think. I haven't checked. Great. Well, Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gacy. Very good. Uh, do you think that we will win this fight right now if I let someone possess me? Yes or no? I'll just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I take your silence as a yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, huh? What? That was to me. Too <laughs> late. I said yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, I just got a phone call. I'm about. I'm gonna go like eat in like a minute. So. Okay. Would y'all like to take a quick break? That would be nice. <sighs> sure. Yeah. Cool. All righty. Uh, Taking some good moment to collect ourselves. Yeah, because now you have to come <laughs> up with a new that. plan. Because one of you is being oh. assaulted by double vicar. Uh, I mean, totally dismiss. I mean, totally vicar. Um, <laughs> if, if anybody else is annoyed about their names, I promise it's intentional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, but yeah, you just get to see my favorite part about the fucking trial. All right, here's his mugshot. You killed this innocent young man. He didn't do nothing. Literally <laughs> a cult leader that killed people. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so Jim, how long note, do you think it'll take you to eat? Uh, not long. The problem is going to be the medication I take after. Oh, why is the medication going to take you a while? It makes EP? me super EP. Okay, so I'll be here. I'm just not going to be coherent. That's fine. I'm <laughs> even I'm more. Dude, you know how sick I am. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair. So, uh, yeah, let's go. I'll be back. Cool. Okay. Uh, but yes, my dear friends, Leo, how'd you feel about oh. your boss fight? That go, I go about how you expected. Let me stop the recording so I can put a part two up. Ra.